Hey everyone, I'm here tonight with a Smashbook update. Uh, it's been a while since I made one and I've made a couple of new pages and I can't even remember where, what pages I I left off on from my other videos so if I go over some pages I've done before, I apologize. <coughs> also, as you can probably tell, I'm a little sick, I lost my voice. Um, but it's getting a bit better. This morning it was completely gone and I sounded like a man. I probably still do, but it's a bit better now. So I decided to just go ahead and film this video. I might not go into too much detail because, again, I can't really talk for too long. Um, and if I I apologize in advance if, I, if my voice chokes um, or goes off on me randomly. I have some water, but just in case, I apologize. This is my random red smash book. And I work on the cover. Anyway, this is the inside cover. Um, I hope you guys can see from this angle. But I did a lot of lay layering. And um, again, I just really wanted to use up some of my stock. I have too much stuff. And I want to get rid of it. Um, so I just want to kind of wanted to do like an introduction kind of to this book. Even though this is not really much of an introduction. But anyway, um, it started off by layering a lot of die cuts. These are from Maggie Holmes. I think this is the pure crepe paper, I think. <coughs> this is Heidi Swap. This is a camera like, cutout that I got from Mercy Tiara in a swap we did, I think, last year. It's been a while, so um, I've been hoarding this camera, and I finally put it to use. This little birdie is also Maggie Holmes. And um, this is a stick that I got, a Heidi Swap stick that I got in the giveaway from Michelle XO. And I just did some washi deep here. It's his memories. Layered some enamel dots and some sequins over here. <laughs> and I just added a sticker and just explained what this book is going to be about. You've seen this. I'm just going to go quickly. I don't know if I show this. I don't think I did. But what I did was just put all my washi tapes on a sheet. It turns out I have a lot more than this, and I made another layout you'll see soon. But I titled it Washi Addiction, Washi Tape Addiction, and it's basically, again, all of my washi tapes together. I'm trying to get it all in the camera. This page is pretty cool. Um, I kind of wanted to do, like, the page that I am, and I kind of wanted to do some kind of thing where I would put all a bunch of, like, adjectives that describe me. And to be honest, this was a little hard because I find it's hard talking about yourself a bit, like I'm trying to think of some stuff that represents you. It was a little hard for me, but I found some words and um, there's still some spots that I could fit in more. I just can't think of anything else, but yeah, I'll just start over here. I did a lot of layering. This is just like two sheets of Dear Lizzie. Washi tape, stickers, sequins, and enamel dots. And uh, I did a lot of clusters, like over here. And up here. And it says, one and only me. If you guys have any questions about products I use, just ask me. I'm not going to go into every single detail, like I said before. But just ask if you have any questions. And this is just an overview of what it says here. I am not going to read them all because, again, my voice. This page is about me and my friend. Basically, I've known this girl since I was really small. And we kind of like got together recently a while back and just started hanging out again. And it's nice. I kind of wanted to document our first time hanging out. What I did up here is pretty cool. I took some yellow polka dot streamer, like um, crepe paper. You know, those party streamers. I kind of like pleated it and I did like a little thing there. I kind of like that. <clears throat> the products I use here is again Dear Lizzie. And then some random stuff from my stash. And on this side, I just um, did some journaling. I used a lot of bling. As you can see. Yep, moving on. I've had these photos a really long time. And I finally got around to smashing them, but I'm not very happy, I guess, with this page layout. I think it's a little busy and a little too much, but anyway. 
This is basically about my old room in my old house. I guess you can see this is my teenage bedroom. My four walls were plastered with posters, as you can see. This whole wall was just AFI posters. And then starting from here on, it was like my other favorite bands and stuff. So this whole wall was AFI and is I miss it. I really do. This is the other wall. Plastered with photos. I loved it. And I just used uh, Maggie Holmes and then Dear Lizzie papers. And new here, I these are the thickers, not thickers, the craft stickers that I got in the giveaway by Michelle again. And I wanted to dress them up a bit, so I had some polka dots and I think it made it a little too busy. I think if I kept them plain and maybe just outlined them, it would have looked a lot better. I think the polka dots is just a little too much, but anyway. This is my old room. Again, some more pictures. And um, I just used some random stickers from my stash. Some molds from you, just trying to get rid of them. As you've seen, <clears throat> it's old. It's too. This is also new. Again, me and my friend that I just talked about, we got together and she recently got a smash book so we did some smashing together. The pictures were taken at her place but the page was made at my place so this was kind of cool. So I used the MFT stamp set that I recently picked up. This is a Hero Arts stamp set. I love this font. It's really fun. And I also used the papers that I won in Michelle's giveaway. These are some poofy bows, and I just did some banners here, heart sticker, sort of, this is our table, our messy table, so it's complete bliss, and another bow, and then on this side, that's her, this is us together, and there is me trying to pick out a font for this page. And it says, you make me happy when skies are gray. So that is like the overview of this layout. This is my continuation of the smash page, uh, the washi page. When I get new washies, I add them to my page, and I'm already at the end. I think I'm gonna have to either go over this or cover this up, and then with white paper and just go over it. Look, Michelle, I added the new washi tapes you gave me. Yeah, so that's that. This page is kind of like a conclusion of what happened in June. It's called What's Up in June. I saw two movies in June and I love both of them. The Great Gatsby made me cry and just depressed for two days straight. And then This is the End made me laugh my pants off the whole way through. I love these guys. I love this movie. I want to watch it again. Actually, I'll probably watch it like tonight. <laughs> and these are my ticket stubs. Me and my boyfriend went because I kept the tickets, or both of our tickets. This page. I tried out some frozen yogurt. I've been wanting to go to this place called Yeah Forever. And I finally went with my friend who you've seen in the pictures. So I talked about it. And then I actually went for a job interview at Target. I didn't get it, but it was a really good experience. I learned a lot from it. So I just kind of um, wrote about it here. At first, this layout I didn't really like. But then, it always happens to me. Like, I make something and I don't like it. And then in the end, I kind of like how it goes together well. Went, my boyfriend and I went to a cool little dinette restaurant called Triple Crown. I love this place. I love this food. We had a really fun day. Walked around the town. I saw some really cool art. And, um, yeah, it's pretty simple. I did a photo collage using PicFrame, which is like an app. I did a little cluster here. Not Nothing special. I just did some journaling. <clears throat> this page is more fancy I guess more creative because there's more elements to it I um another photo collage I like this how I kind of made it like going upwards the stickers from the giveaway I won from Michelle actually all of these stickers are this is um the I love this is a little banner that I got at Target and then I added some sequins and some stars I apologize if this video is very um, like cut and pasty because I've been having to stop and start a, a lot of times. I'm really trying to pull through this video. <laughs> I need to get a lozenge. I probably should have just waited to film this when I was feeling better, but I just couldn't. So I apologize again. This is a journaling card. The Michelle 
gave in her giveaway. I just talked about it this day. <clears throat> it was a really nice day out with my boyfriend. This page is not complete yet. I just started it and then I didn't like it, so I stopped. <laughs> this page is again like the same friend. We went for a picnic in the park. We had some sushi. And I like how this page came out. I was having some trouble again with it, but it turned out okay. I hope you guys can see those stickers. They're really cool. They're like white, sparkly. I love the font of them. And I used some new stickers, these flower stickers. And then just like a cluster up here with washi tape. And then down here also. This page was a pain in my butt. Um, I just couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with this page and nothing was kind of turning out well. But in the end, it looks good as a whole. <laughs> uh, this is just a photo collage again. These are some... I recently joined Instagram when I did this page. So... I took some photos from Instagram that I posted and I did a photo collage and I titled it Everyday Life. I used some Studio G Bling, some store, um, dollar store stickers, snap stickers. And down here, this is from my frozen yogurt that I got right here, this one. You guys can see that. It was so delicious. Really good. I loved it. I think it was passion fruit and coconut with fresh fruit on top. I loved it. And this place is called Tutti Fruity. And I just love the stick. It was like mint green and had strawberries and a blueberry. And those are like my favorite fruits. Some of them. And I just thought it was so cute. So I cut off the spoon part and I put it here. And this is like the, the actual container of it. And it says some fun facts about frozen yogurt. So I thought it was cute. And I like the little globe and the little heart. So I put it in. What I didn't like about this page was my writing. It's like there's some spaces and then at the end it gets really tight because I was running out of space because I did a, like a legend and I wanted to talk about each photo and just describe it here. But it kind of got really flustered. But in the end it's fine. My last pages are about the time zone to the beach this summer. I titled it Beach Days. I really like doing these photo collages because I can get a lot of photos in one thing. Only one 4x6. So, um, this is what it looks like. Rabon stickers. The name of the beach. On this side, I really like this page a lot. This is from the pier and I love how it came ready made. I added some, I did a little cluster up here. Some random stickers. These are from the pier. These are from Dear Lizzie, the name of the beach, stamped what a day, and um, this is funny. My dad was like bringing the cooler, and then the gra like the floor was all gravel, and it just tipped over, and all our food and everything just tipped out. It was just so funny. I had to Instagram that. So this is just like an overview. Hope you guys can see it all in frame. I actually found my ticket for the beach, and I forgot to put it in, so I just I have it in like that. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I apologize for my voice, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, so I have a couple pages left to work on, and then it's done. I can't wait to finish this book. Again, I apologize for my cracky voice and my manly voice, and I can't wait to hear how I sound when I watch this when I'm editing it. But I just want to say thanks for watching, and um, have a good night. Bye.